This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Charles McElwee is back in our studios. He is a member of the Board of Directors for the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum, talking about a new movie that is coming out, The Irishman, a Martin Scorsese film. However, our good friend Charles McElwee here each week to talk about history from the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum. You said it's not going to be in the movie theaters. It's first coming to Netflix. This is a tectonic shift, really, for the movie industry because Martin Scorsese, an established old school director has decided to take this new path for the Irishman, which has been in the works since 2008, but it was, they were working with Paramount before Scorsese decided to take this new direction. The movie is about Frank Sharon, who was a high-ranking Teamsters official, and his revelations to Charles Brandt, who wrote a book called I Heard You Paint Houses, it came out in 2005. So the book tells the story of Sharon, and his claim right before he died in 2003 that he was responsible for murdering Jimmy Hoffa, who was the head of the Teamsters Union, and whose body has yet to be found. But a, a very important part of the book and the major theme is Sharon's ties to organized crime in Luzerne County. So Scorsese was fascinated by the story, and the book ended up having cult following, so he optioned the movie in 2008 and Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, they're all, the, the, the usual cast for a Scorsese film is going to be part of this movie, which is going to cost $150 million to film. Wow, I'm surprised that something of this magnitude is just gonna go straight to Netflix. Do you think this is like now a precursor for things to come? It is a sign of the times. Hollywood as we know it is over. The recent Oscar flub went with the mess up about La La Land, that's the least of Hollywood's worries right now. The real worry is the tectonic shift that we're seeing with the changes, uh, the disruption because of technology. Because today, audiences prefer on-demand content rather than going to a movie theater. So there's a cultural shift. And Scorsese, as much as he loves that old studio system, the old-fashioned movie, I think understands that audiences don't necessarily share his preference. So I think Scorsese understands these metrics are a sign of what is to come. So it, it, yet again, six degrees of Luzerne County, Greater Hazleton, here we are with a movie that will be a major shift in the industry and it's going to tell a major theme of the story is Luzerne County. I think that should be another segment that we'll do, the six degrees of Luzerne County, like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Right. Uh, that would be very interesting. Well, uh, keep us posted on this. This is really a first of its kind development with this movie, so we're all going to be curious to see how this plays out. Right, so, and we'll, be, we'll look forward to, be, to watching the movie. So. All right, Charles McElwee, our historian friend from the Greater Hazelton Historical Society and Museum, which now has a fundraising event underway. So please, if you can donate to help preserve the history of Hazelton, please go to their Facebook page to find out more information.